Hi everyone, so I have tried to film this video so many times already and it just doesn't seem to be working out. My voice sounds a little bit weird because I've got a bit of a cold, so apologies if you find that annoying. And my hair is just driving me absolutely insane. I feel like the lighting in here oh, is really weird and it just makes my hair look ten times darker than it is, which I feel is not very flattering. And every time I look at my hair I'm just like, ew, it doesn't look nice. Um, but it's... It, like in real life it looks fine, it's just the lighting in here for some weird reason. Um, and with the ring light, it just makes my hair look so much darker than it is. Mental note to self, never dye your hair like really, really dark brown because it makes you look weird. Um, but, yeah, I don't know, it's really annoying me so I'm going to try and not look in the viewfinder at all. But if you're thinking my hair looks weird, I know. Um, but I'm here with a foundation review today of the Max Factor Face Finity Foundation, which looks like this. And I um, have had this for quite a while now, and I've been meaning to do a review and not getting around to it, but I think that's good anyway because I have been using it for a long time. And I have got it in the shade Beige, which is 55. I will talk to you a little bit about the shades in a minute, but I always like to get the shade part out of the way first because people find it really annoying and they say that I don't mention the shade in foundation reviews, but I do, but for some reason it gets lost. So anyway, shade Beige 55. Um, I'm going to read to you what the claims are about this foundation first. So. Um, the foundation, this foundation primes the skin with flexi hole technology that creates a strong yet lightweight film which sits comfortably on the skin. Next, micro correctors within the formula operate like little mechanics to defend against external influences like sweat and sebum, correcting and maintaining the look over time whilst preventing shine. Lastly, the foundation formula with SPF 20 delivers an all day high coverage matte finish thanks to the oil absorbency particles which help to minimise the level of non violators on the skin surface. So basically they're trying to make it sound like NASA made this foundation. Um, but I will start off by saying it is a very nice kind of dependable everyday foundation. It's not um, it's not the most kind of natural looking and if I look in the kind of viewfinder right now this is the foundation that I've got on. And you can see it's very very um, it looks like makeup. It's not cakey, that's not what I would describe it as, but it does look like makeup. In terms of oil control, which they tend to say is one of their selling points, I don't find for me that there is a product out there that can control my oiliness. And I've had this foundation on for like two hours now, and you can see that the oil is starting to break through here. A little bit on my, kind of just on my T-zone. My skin's very, very oily and makeup just makes it even oilier. And I've got like, you know, an oil-free moisturiser underneath and everything. And my skin's just very oily. So I can't really comment on that. But I think that's more to do with my skin issues rather than the foundation itself. Um, and, but it definitely doesn't keep me matte personally. So if you've got very oily skin, that might be something that you want to consider as well. Because like I said, for me, don't, I don't find it really kind of did much. Um, in terms of that. In terms of longevity, it does last very well. The coverage is really good. It's high coverage. Um, it's not full coverage, but it's definitely high coverage and it evens out everything. I have got concealer over the top, but um, it doesn't eradicate the need for concealer for me. And they're trying to say that it's a primer, concealer and foundation one. I do usually use a primer anyway, but it's not necessarily for makeup longevity purposes. It's more to blur my pores, because I don't find most primers do tend to do that anyway. But I do like something to just kind of blur my pores and make my skin look a little bit nicer. Um, but other than that, I think as well... <coughs> The price of it, um, I'm not sure if I've mentioned that already, but for £12.99, I do think that's quite expensive. Um, and I do think that that's a little bit like, but for a drugstore band, that is expensive. And the shade range is interesting as well, because it's not, you have this across a lot of um, brands, but the shade range is, isn't cons consistent across the brand with all their foundations. So I like the shade Sand in one of um, their other foundations, which I'm testing out, which is a nice kind of yellow tone. This didn't have that shade, and I had to go for beige, which does suit me, um, but it is very much kind of a wintry colour. I can't leave my hair alone, can I? I'm just like... It's due, uh, I need to put some of the John Frieda lightning thing in it to just give it a bit of a pick-me-up. And because it's winter, I don't know, I just feel like I look really drab, but anyway, whatever. Um, I 
I, I prefer the other shade, the kind of more yellowy shades, but they are good in that none of their shades are very pink. They're either neutral or yellow, which I think is great. The packaging is quite nice. It's a glass bottle, um, pump action. It does get a little bit grimy, and I do think the packaging, though, is a little bit kind of old-fashioned looking. I don't know. I just think it looks a little bit kind of just a bit old fashioned um, and they say that it also would eradicate the need for concealer you can't really put it in your under eye area because it just looks a bit weird and it sits in fine lines and it just doesn't really work in my opinion but um, if you've got nice skin and you don't need concealer on your face then this probably will be enough if you've got just kind of nice even skin then this probably will be enough for you to just kind of cover everywhere and I I like the fact it has this BF20 in it. It's a, it's a nice, everyday, dependable foundation. Good foundation for... <coughs> Sorry, I've like I said, I've still got a cold. And I've, it's been like... I'm on like day six of this cold now. And it's just not going away. Um, I definitely think that it is a good one if you kind of work in an office environment. And you want something that's just dependable, nice, natural, but good coverage. It's a really good foundation. I am really glad I tried it. I do use it quite often. Um, and I would give it probably a 7 out of 10. I really like it. Um, I use it with the Real Techniques buffing brush. It does look nice if you use a sponge as well, but I prefer the buffing brush just because I kind of find that's easiest to use and I like it. Um, and I... I don't think this is one that I would use in the summer because the coverage is a little bit heavy but it's definitely one that I will continue to use and I really like. The one I'm trying at the moment that I said is the other one is the um, Miracle Match. I actually bought the Miracle Match one first. Sorry, I can't leave my hair alone. What's wrong with me? I just feel like mm, today. Um, the Miracle Match one is another one I'm trying, but that one's a little bit more nourishing. But yes, yeah, 7 out of 10, not great for oil control, but it does last a really long time. I would love to know in the comments down below how you find it is for oil control. And can you please recommend the best foundation that you like in terms of oil control? Because my skin's just so, so oily, and it just... I'm constantly shiny, like it doesn't matter what I do, it's really annoying. But I um, have ordered the Revlon Colour Stay, the new, um, they've changed the formula, haven't they, and it's got a pump now. I have ordered that and I'm going to do a first impressions day test for that as well um, later on in the week. So hopefully um, those of you who will be requesting that in the comments, because I know people always mention that that will be in there as well. But yeah, I hope you enjoyed this video. Sorry I've been incoherent. I'm still, I'm recovering from a cold and I'm just like, I don't know, my brain's not with it. Um, and I'm not sleeping very well either because I cough all night, so that's great. But I hope you enjoyed this anyway and I'll see you next time. Bye.